What's going on guys? Swing Timber Outdoors here. I want to talk to you guys in the gloomiest and rainiest of days, okay? What I personally look for when I look for a, a rod that is specific to me for Euro style nymphing, ESN, it can be also referred to as Czech, French, Spanish nymphing, okay? They all are slightly different, but when we just loop them all together as Euro nymphing, we're referring to a uh, style of, of fishing where we are fishing subsurface nymphs, okay? typically with a cider of some kind, no indicator or bobber, and we're utilizing flies that are weighted themselves and no weight on the line. If we add weight to the line, technically it's more tight line nymphing, but you know, Joe Humphrey style, but that's okay. Uh, regardless, these rods will work for both tight line and Euro style nymphing, um, and they are incredibly effective. So what I look for typically, today I have two different rods for you to talk about. One, I have the Nano Nymph, uh, this is an IM12 blank uh, in a 10-foot three-weight uh, four-piece by Max Catch. And I have the Wetfly Element 2. This is also a three-weight 10-foot uh, four-piece, but they're very different, and we'll talk about the differences between them. Okay, now, when I look for a rod that is specific for tightline nymphing or Euro nymphing, Czech, Polish, okay, uh, French, regardless, I want something with a fairly strong butt section for lifting, but a sensitive tip section to feel current changes or bottom. Now, both of these rods do a very good job. Obviously, you can tell that they're slightly different, okay? The three weights uh, has a fighting butt and a full wells grip, whereas the uh, Nano Nymph has a half wells and no fighting butt. Also has some different aluminum style reel seat than the, than the wet fly. Now, the difference being, if I'm fishing bigger water, now, most guys will say you can go all the way up to 11 and a half foot. Some guys, you know, competition have multiple rods from range from 10 to 12 foot, but I only have a couple because I can get by in most situations. If I'm in big water and I'm check nymphing or I'm, or I'm euro nymphing, I'm usually using the wet fly because they have about the same pull power. This is a little stronger pull power, but I have the fighting butt to anchor myself and to let the fish fight it out. Okay. Uh, uh, but that also introduces more weight. The second thing I like to look at with uh, picking out the rod is I want the rod to be fairly light uh, because I want the rod to be able to be fished all day, right? Especially if I'm getting down and dirty and I'm high sticking the rod, I don't want to have to sit there and, oh, my shoulder hurts all day. And I consider myself a fairly consistent angler. And so that means that I'm out there a lot fishing. That also means that, you know, I want a light rod. In that case, the Nano Nymph does a really good job at that, but it doesn't have quite as much lifting power as the as the uh, the Element Two. Again, both very great rods, just different applications. Okay. The other thing is because it's so light, it's very sensitive, but that also means that because it's so light and doesn't have as much lift power, that it doesn't toss up big size six, even four or eight size stonefly imitations as anchor flies, as this rod does. Now, with power, with fightability, does come a lack of sensitivity, minuscule lack of sensitivity, by comparison. So, overall, small, small stream, I like this, okay? Bigger stream with bigger fish sometimes, even nymphing for bass, which is a lot of fun, is a stronger asset to this rod. Both rods do wonderfully, okay? And I can use them both, you know, both in both applications, but... What I look for typically, a light rod with, some, with a strong backbone, lightweight tip, okay, that I feel like I can fish all day. All right, so both of these rods are excellent choices. I have coupon codes for both in the description below. There are plenty of other uh, brands and things that I have yet to try, but, you know, they make competition-style nymph rods, you know, Cortland, Sage, they all do. Both will, you know, both will be fairly inexpensive and, and you know, you'll run the gambit of price on all these different types of rods. Do you need this? No. Could you get away with a normal you know, four weight or two weight, uh, nine foot on very small streams? Yes. However, if you want to get technical and you want to get, uh, you know, hone in on your more specific applications, then rods like this will do a great job. So hopefully you guys liked the video. It's a dreary, rainy, thunderous day, so I figured I would come by and I'd talk to you guys in the little studio here on 
you know, the two different rods you've seen in videos. So please hit the video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos in the playlists. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.